Are you having an issue with mites or fleas in your chicken coop? Then you need to watch this video regarding permethrin 10. So we're having a little issue, I believe, with mites in our coop. Uh, some of our hens are losing their feathers on their back and we've been fighting for some time and we just really haven't seen anything in the coop or on them but I think that's the problem now. We're getting a little cluster in the coop. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna deep clean this coop real fast and then apply this permethrin 10. Now we got this at Tractor Supply. You can probably get it at any local uh, tractor feed store. Um, we got this for about $20 and this will last a long time. It's a pretty diluted uh, amount. So if you have any little sprayer, you can use a $10 sprayer or a $50 sprayer, whatever size, dilute this stuff and then you should be able to spray it in there. If this video is what you're looking for, I would really appreciate it if you'd drop down below, hit that like button, and subscribe if you're interested. We do new content every Friday and Monday as we grow our homestead. So we're gonna get cleaning in this coop. We're gonna clean it out all the way, and then we're gonna bring a pressure washer in here and clean all the debris off. You could do a normal hose, but you're gonna use a lot more water, and you're gonna soak your wood a lot more than a pressure washer. A pressure washer is a lot less gallons per minute, and it's probably less risk of getting the wood soaked. Now, what we have in here is this mama hen. Hey, go, I'm trying to make a video. Go. We have the laminate flooring that we put down to prevent wood rot on the floor, um, but it just didn't turn out too great and it gets ripped up with the uh, shovel. So that being said, it's been ripping over time and what I'm gonna do right now, just to get the best clean out of this, I'm just gonna cut this all out and I'll be done with this. We'll probably have to do some longer term uh, floor renovation in here, uh, but this will get all this out because every time I scoop it out, it gets lifted. So we're just gonna cut it right out. So we're gonna try not to spray broody box, but clean the rest. So I think my press rusher just died. Not even done yet, so we're using this weak sprayer on this hose, jet mode. That's really not a jet, but yeah.
All right, so I tried to sweep out and blow out as much water as possible. Now I put this box fan in the window, let this thing dry out. So today we're gonna to be using this one gallon sprayer. We got it from Tractor Supply for about 10 bucks. The directions for the permethrin, if you're gonna clear a coop, um, initial infestation or heavy infestation, which I think we're gonna to do today, is uh, about 6.7 ounces to one gallon, and that's the initial. Every two weeks you can apply this as needed if you keep seeing them, and it's definitely a lower rate. Um, it's about 1.5 ounces per gallon. After you do spray this, Make sure that you leave the coop secured and the birds are not going in there until it's dry and all the vapors have. All right, we're gonna start spraying. We have all the chickens out and I'm gonna turn the fan off. I'm gonna spray the whole coop down. Make sure while you're spraying this stuff, you are wearing a mask because it is not safe to breathe in these vapors. I'm just gonna give it a nice, good coating. You wanna really kill everything in your first shot, you know? One thing to think about is how big of an area you're spraying. Um, obviously with this, you have to sit here and pump it every once in a while. So consider the size of the container you're gonna use for your liquid. All right, so we're done spraying inside the coop. Now just make sure you give it sufficient time to dry out before adding your shavings back and letting the chickens in. You can also add diatomaceous earth inside the coop for an extra added benefit. When we finished with this, we diluted it. If you look in the instructions in the permethrin 10, you can see that you can spray it direct to the birds. And so I diluted that to that amount. So later tonight, we will apply this to their backs and under their wings. Um, that way we can ensure that we're not, all these mites or fleas out at one time. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you would consider dropping down below, hitting that like and subscribe button if this video helped. Do you have a flea or mite infestation in your chicken coop? If so, you need to watch this video.